Hey guys, welcome back to Jujuju Railway Adventures. Today we are in Belfast, a little bit far away from home, as you saw by the plane on Facebook, as a little, as a little hint. So say we're off to Great Street, something, something. Um, ends, up, ends up in a depot on the way through on the bus. Unfortunately, it was literally on the M2, so I rode all the way out there on a rental bike. So as I couldn't get there, so it's only half hour to get there. So as I need to come half hour back. Depressingly enough, it took me to the exact same spot where I originally rented the bike. So, um, that was very annoying for straight in, but we're in Belfast, we're looking good. We're just taking off the custom hoodie because I'm dying after that. Um, and we're currently just looking for the train station, which should be anywhere around here now. So, GoPro going in a minute. Done some uh, Wikipedia research to try and find out what kind of trains I'm going to see because I haven't got a clue. It's not normal trains that we normally see in the UK. Ah, oh, apologies on that. So, um, yeah, we're going to try and find it, get there, see if we're there soon. That's another thing. And if we do, we'll be looking for another good day video. If not, we'll figure someone out. But we'll see you guys on the entrance, hopefully, to the platform. See you guys in a sec. She comes from the Fort Mall when you come to kind of a main hub so we're going to go and ask around oh trains is up that way apparently so we're going to go that way but yeah. so a lovely gentleman were able to let me in happy days so now we're at great victoria street so i'm now going to do some uh, train spot now i'm back from three or four currently we're going to go to one two We've got a few trains coming in soon. Uh, 11.41, 11.45 and 10 past 12. So we'll sit here for a little while, see what these new uh, Ferraris look like and uh, we'll go from there. But um, yeah, you guys will see me in a minute when we, uh, when we get the trains coming. So I'm a little bit confused, as you can tell by my baffled voice. So, I saw one go over the bridge in the M2. I don't know if it was the traffic of the motorway, but I couldn't hear the train. And what I have noticed is there's no overhead and there's no third rail. So I'm quite intrigued to see how loud they're going to be. Because they're going to have to be diesel. So they can't be purely electric, surely. Because it wouldn't last very long. I don't think that even exists. I'm not sure. Again, I'm not... Never been to Northern Ireland before, so I wouldn't know Northern Ireland rail. So let's give them a go, see what they do, boys. But yeah, I've noticed that. No third rail, no overhead electrification. So I haven't brought like, that far in yet. So we just have to wait and see uh, what they're doing. Nine. Very quiet, must be electric. Maybe a third row out, maybe on the line, I'm not sure I have to look into it, but very quiet. Very clean, very nice though.
so thanks to good old wiki we know that that one there is a class 4000 and then we know that one it does come in there we just in there the class 3000 um also for the obviously most of the veg over there spots on the side of um kind of coaches and locomotives that have the class number for that it doesn't have class it has 3000 or 4000 that's the other thing i've noticed um and the 3000 was i don't know if you can hear it a bit more louder so i think it's got generators underneath also i think it's just idle power coming in so uh, we'll see when they pull away about how they sound but the 3000 sounds a lot louder than 4000 so um i've looked up the line a little bit and i can't see no electrification so um so interesting but yeah always.
No, I'm still sure they're electric, so I'm going to look into that. But still, yeah, 3,000 is definitely usual. Yeah, so the 4000 series are past 4000 or 4000 bob. Bobs and Aries is a diesel also. So no electrification this side of the line then, that's interesting. Yep, so the three or 4000 series or the class 3000, class 4000 or the 3000, 4000, whatever you want to call them, both diesel. Just very posh DMEs. So after some digging through the mad love of Wikipedia, um, so class three, they are class 3000, class 4000. We've got those correct, class happy days. So they originally had class 101s, class 89s, back between the 1980s and beforehand, 1940s. They've then recently, in 2002, got the class 3000s, with class 4000 in the last three to five years. Go find an accurate date of when those came in. I'm sure someone will let me know if they know. But the difference in design, uh, the way it looks, and internal comfortability, 4,000 probably takes the cake. But I don't use them on a daily basis, so I can't sit here and commentate saying that's definitely better because for a daily commuter, 3,000 might have been better. You know, we've had this example on the 800s to the 43s. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et but they are classes DMEs. These are multiple units. So as far as I'm aware, they do come as they don't squeeze me if I got it wrong. A four car set. So I'll be interested if I only see four car sets today. Every day is a learning day. Every day is a school day. Staying humble and uh, learning more. So it's interesting. Not very not every day you get to fly up here and sit on a railway station for a few hours, but we move and we love it. Thirty double nine again. Funny feeling these shorter ones on platform um, two and three are going to be like small shuttle ones. I've seen a lot of those ones. I think the, the longer ones, the eight cars, they'll probably on the slightly longer ones. So obviously, I've seen a lot more, a lot less of those ones, a lot more local ones. I think. So I might have to move spot, but I possibly think the other two I want to go to are in the same line direction as this. So we'll figure out, I guess. If I'm staying for a little bit longer, and then we might probably call it there. Don't mean the video too long. It's only a short little clip today. Just uh, my little uh, experience in Belfast. All right, guys. So we are finishing our adventure at Great Victoria Station, uh, Vic, uh, Great Victoria Street. My apologies. I know it hasn't been a long video. Um, but it's been a knackering one. I've been up since six the last day. I haven't really slept. Uh, airport uh, just killed me, lads. If I'm honest with you. All down and running the airport for hours and catching the plane. It's absolutely cracking me out. Obviously we landed, got straight out and went to get some food. It's been non-stop. Now I need to do a 25 minute walk to get to... 25 minute walk to get to where we're staying, the backpackers. And then 
To be fair, a lot of most of us are here. I think I'm going to get me a down for a little bit, refresh up for dinner tonight, go out after an hour, see drinky poos with the boys, and uh, get ready for tomorrow's football. Uh, not really tryouts, um, qualifying, tomorrow's football qualifying. Um, so hopefully we place in a good position to start on Friday. So I'll well, give you a little sneak peek on the football, a little bit of highlight here and there, but I won't keep my tricks, it's not what this sounds about, but it'll be interesting kind of what I do. So thank you for all tuning in guys. This has been JJ Row Adventures at Great Victoria Street in Belfast, Northern Ireland. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. Share it on the Facebook post as well. Don't forget to make sure Beyond that, we are getting Instagram up again soon for this more for the merch, are we? Um, don't forget to check out the merch on the Facebook page. We have newish jumpers out at the moment. We've got very, very limited stock, so grab it while you can. Um, please PM, uh, PM me or drop me an email or a chat on the Facebook. All the details on Facebook. Plenty of sizing is available, so if you've got your size, you grab happy days. Um, yeah, all pricing should be in there as well. So. As always, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate all the love and support, and I'll see you guys on the footplate. 407 just pulled in. address to the house of the now, just literally one stop away from where I'm going at now. So for a pound twenty-five I thought I have to give it a go. And I regret not doing it if I don't. So car on the train, very comfortable, air conditioning is beautiful, nice and cool. And uh, it's really nice, it's really comfortable. So uh big positives. Big positives. I'm gonna probably rate this uh, probably uh, I'm probably gonna go a six out of ten. I think where I fall behind on points is um, never is nice but a bit dull. Seats are kind of hard, so long journeys would be impossible. And all the seats are really crammed together, so you haven't got much like leg room. Um, just got trays, pretty sturdy trays. I'll give them that. Um, tables are very limited, um, like two three forms that are push uh, per coach. So, currently a city hospital. Of course, I guess we're all having a massive refurb or the city's getting the work done to it because everything's kind of like tarred up, but I'm not sure if that's normal or that's what I'm going. But yeah, we're on the train, guys. So we're going to rate this one yeah. six out of ten. So, I thought I want Botanic. So, this has been Juju Adventures again. Signing off, appreciate your support and love, and I'll see you guys on the top place. This is me, Casa, for the next two days. Uh, above and two, left to platform one. Well, that is the 4000 series, I believe. I'm getting nervous now because if I got it wrong, I bet like a bit of a melt, but I have not. Yeah, 4000 series. That's the stickers I was on earlier on, by the way, guys. Posh is the penalty and those uh, foot plates don't go in. eBay version. eBay. But yeah. Very interesting. Very nice. 
So let's go explore my local area, but again, hope you enjoyed the video. And see you guys on footing.